Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Welcome back, everyone, and buckle up while you're at it because this should be a doozy here this evening. Moments away from puck drop. Ray, give me a sense of what's the difference with an American League clash to the NHL. Well, there's a couple of things. One, of course, is the level of play is a little different. The American League is a little more scrambly. The game is a little more frenetic. But there's also the fact that you're playing not only for your team, but for yourself. You want to be noticed so you can be an NHL player. Officials made his way here to center in this first period is about set to go. The Bruins start with possession as we are now underway. Takes a shot, overshot it. Sometimes the only place you have is up over the goalie's shoulder. Sometimes you airmail it. Bridgeport's in now. The Sound Tigers have it in the offensive end. Turns it away. Handles the puck. The Bruins play it along the boards. And he takes a shot, and he makes the save. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still no score in this one. The Sound Tigers take possession off the faceoff. Feeds the puck to Bellows. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Into the corner now. The Bruins have it against the wall. Here they come. Providence is on the attack. Steps into it just wide. Yeah, he's going to have to adjust the sights on that one. That thing's off target by a long way. Providence has gained possession. The Bruins take it along the wing. Taken by Kemper. Here's a chance and puts it right over the crossbar. Takes it to the front. Dives down low to block it. Takes the feed. Bellows gains the zone. Providence has got the puck along the wall. Through center. They go on the attack from the left side. Bridgeport's got the puck in their own end. Nice pass. They go on the attack through center. Here's a chance, and that shot gets caught in traffic. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. We'll get another look here as he lays down on the shooting lane to block the shot. That one's going to stink. Bridgeport's got it in the offensive zone. Moves into the slot. Big save. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Receives the pass. Carey's got it against the boards. Richie's looking to make something happen here in the corner. Oh, what an effort giving up the body there. Here he is in close. Beat the goaltender, but couldn't beat the post. Pretty tough to come much closer than that, James. Nobody can score, but the posts aren't helping either. Bridgeport's moving it along the wing. Providence is looking to break out of their own end. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. A shot completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie work here. You've got to make him have to do something in the net. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Takes it into the slot. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Bridgeport's got it against the boards. The Bruins take possession in the defensive end. Here they come on the attack. Pr 
Providence has got the puck along the boards. He gets a piece of it with a stick. This is a quality chance that the goaltender turns aside right from the slot. Along the half wall with the puck. Skates to the crease. Denies it in front. Oh, you're not going to get a better chance than that, but the goalkeeper does a great job. This shot comes from a real dangerous area on the ice, but the goalie's in position, and he makes a nice stick save. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Hughes wins the draw on their own end. From center, they get into the attacking area. Puts it on net. Misses over the net. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Drives to the paint. Made the stop on the play. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. It's in the back of the net. He scores! Now, you got to think he's played a little baseball in his time. Puck pops up into the air, and he hammers it out of midair. Knocks it past the goaltender. Bridgeport's got the game's first goal. Now they'll play in front. Best place to be, of course, is out in front where you set the pace. The other guys have to chase you for the rest of the night. Puck grabbed by Aho. Dumps it in. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. And now he angles it across to Hughes. Sends it in on the attack. The Sound Tigers are in transition. And they'll dump it in. Providence has gained possession along the boards. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. And the officials stop the play as the puck heads off the ice. Bridgeport still got time here in this first period to increase this lead. The Sound Tigers win the faceoff. Pass back to the point. He scores! What a goal! They barely fished the puck out after the last one. Two goals in 70 seconds. Conversely, deflating for the other team. Man, that is a kick in the shins right there. They just couldn't stop the bleeding. He's playing the percentages, drops into the butterfly, but it doesn't help him. He gets beat pretty cleanly. More than half the period left to play. Bridgeport's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. The Sound Tigers win possession here in the open ice. Tanner Fritz. Assisted by number 28, Sebastian Arnold. Takes the pass. By number 21, The Bruins take it across the line. 25 seconds. The Sound Tigers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Here's a shot, and there's the save. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Camper. Here he is, wrists it on net. Oh, and that goes wide. Coral's got the puck, and he's going to go for the whistle here. He hasn't had a lot to do this period, but he's been excellent and has been able to control the pace of play. Oh, well, you're not going to get much better scoring chance than that one, but the goaltender makes an excellent stick save. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Sound Tigers are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2 0. Grabbed along the boards by Kemper. Here's a shot. Uh uh. Nice block. Takes the feed. Here they come on the attack. The Bruins get a hold of the puck. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. The Bruins looking against the half wall. And he comes up with it.
The Sound Tigers have had multiple scoring opportunities here in this first and could easily have a much bigger lead. Bridgeport's won the draw. And now he tries to get it across to Ladd. Across the line from center. Here's a shot. Just misses. Drives it to the crease. Answered the call on that play. Sends a pass over. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. The centermen glide into position. Providence has won it. Picks up the puck in his own end. The Bruins move it in. Here they are on the attack. Move to the middle. Here he is, shot right in front. Whoa. He scores. James, I'm really impressed here. They just gave up a goal. Now they turn it around, go back down the ice, and they equalize the one they just gave up. Man, it looks like a bus depot in front of the net. You know it's a tough one when you can't see the goalie. That means he can't see the puck. Providence has cut that lead to one as they get back to center ice. They must look at this game completely different, James. They should, because now with just half of this first period left, there's lots of time. You only trail by one. The Bruins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. With some open space at center. On the attack along the boards. Quick pass to Woods. And he gets a paddle on that one. And he came out and challenged him. Good save. Corot's able to use all the gear here. This is a stick save on the scoring chance. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. Providence has shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. And now he moves it to Fritz. Bridgeport's got it across the line. Sends the pass over. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Slides the puck over. Stones him in front. Save made by the goalie. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Corot's able to make the save, as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The Bruins win the faceoff. Let's it go. Oh, puts it wide. Picked up along the wall by Kemper. Can't catch up to the pass. Schmaltz has it in the defensive end. The Sound Tigers take it along the wall. To the low slot. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. The Bruins move it ahead. Here's a shot with the stop. Picked up along the boards by Schmaltz. Through center along the wing. The Bruins have the puck now. Gaining momentum along the wing. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Providence has got the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Here he is in front! Oh, and he can thank his stick for that one! High quality chance, high quality save. The Sound Tigers take it along the wall. Here's a shot and makes the save. These are positional saves. This is a good scoring chance, and he makes the stop with his stick. In the final moments of this period, Bridgeport's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. The Bruins win the draw. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. The Sound Tigers go to work on offense. Stopped by the goaltender. Providence has got a hold of it along the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Bridgeport's got control of it now from their own end. The Sound Tigers take over on possession. Bridgeport's moving it into the offensive end. 
He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. The Bruins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Up along the wing. Carey's going to play it against the half wall. The Sound Tigers have it from their own end. Pass across to Ajo. The Sound Tigers will play it in their own end. Nice zone entry from the left. Manages to hang on. The Bruins gain possession in their own end. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Puck picked up by Ajo. Quick feed to Fritz. Moves the puck. The Bruins look to start the transition game. The Sound Tigers ready to go on the attack. Beautiful stop with the stick. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. The Sound Tigers have controlled this game here in the first period. More shots, more goals. Puck has dropped and we are back underway. And now it's over to Woods. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Snapper from the slot. Nothing. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Hammers a shot. Denies him with the save. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. It's official. Period number one is in the books. Looking for a way to show love for your team? Don't forget, Team Hat Giveaway Night is right around the corner. The first 3,000 fans in the arena will pick up an official Team Hat. Both teams heading down the tunnels. We'll take a quick breath ourselves and be back for the second period.
Along with Ray Ferraro between the benches, I'm James Sabolski. Period number two is about to get underway. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Driving right to the front and makes the routine save. Bridgeport's got the lead on the scoreboard. A big reason to that has been the amount of pucks that they've been putting on net. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Played big in the moment there. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Bridgeport's up 2-1, and the crowd has been enjoying this one. The Bruins win it in the defensive zone. Providence is in transition. The Bruins played along the boards. Puts it on that. Stopped by the goaltender. Coral's going to hang on here for the whistle and stoppage of play. It's a good thing he does because you haven't mentioned his name and I don't know how long. The play's been at the other end of the ice forever. The setters will glide into the dot. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Bridgeport's got it along the wall. Into the corner. The Bruins have it against the wall. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Shot denies them on the play. Here's an offensive chance. Puts it on net. Oh! chance oh James he tried to get rid of that in a hurry he just misses looking to make something happen in the offensive zone Bridgeport's got the puck behind the net oh James that's close I thought this was in I thought the forward was going to be able to get to the post first but he's not that's a really strong save no room right there that's a dangerous scoring chance but the goaltender makes a great save as he's able to snuff it out Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. That goes off a twig. Providence is moving it up the ice. And the puck departs the zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Oh, what a save in front. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Gains the zone on the left wing. Quick feed to Carey. Puts it high. Yeah, it sounds great. Hit the net, though. You got a better chance to score. Puck sent over to Sarnik. Carries it across the line. And he regains control of the puck. And a strong effort on that play. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Drives to the sweet spot. Denies him. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Feeds it over to Ladd. Hammers it on net. What a stop. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. Grabs it in his own end. Here they come up along the wing. Wrist shot from the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Flashes the leather right in the slot on a difficult chance. Corrodes made a great save here. That was a dangerous play. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. It's 2-1. The Sound Tigers win the draw. Bridgeport's got the puck in the defensive end. The Sound Tigers carry it along the wall. Shot, wow. scores! Oh, he's going to stop that. He's going to have to stay up on the crease a little bit more. He got deep in the net and beaten pretty cleanly. Bridgeport's now gone ahead by two here tonight. And you know what? They've been the better team, Ray. I don't think that's up for much debate at all. They've had the majority of shots, the majority of possession, and a comfortable two-goal lead. Assisted by number 25. Right in front. Big time stop. Corot's able 
able to keep the score the same, he turns away a slot shot. I want to go back to that chance we had just a moment ago. The goalie reads the play well, makes a great save on a really good scoring chance. Bridgeport's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. Taken along the wall by Kemper. Handles the puck at the point. Looks like we got a delayed tripping penalty coming up here. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Now uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. The Bruins will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. I scored about 25% of my goals on the power play. I made a living on it. One of the things, if you're on it, you better produce or they're going to make changes. Scores on the power play. Clinical stuff out there. They have worked on the power play at the morning skate today. They were able to take that forward into a power play goal here tonight. Power play's job is to create shots. And if you can create them from the most dangerous areas of the ice, you're going to be successful. Dead center in the slot. He doesn't miss. Providence is back to center ice, and now it is just a deficit of one. What a difference just the one goal makes in the way that you look at the game, what makes you think is possible. They only need one more to even this up. Here's a blast, and he comes up with the save. Bellows plays it along the wall. Scoops up the puck now. Stays with it. The Sound Tigers played along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Fritz. Makes the save. Corrodes all over this scoring chance. The slap shot really tests his reflexes. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Providence is trailing by one. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Stick save. Dead center, excellent save. The Sound Tigers will play it from the defensive zone. Looking to set up offensively. Takes it to the net. Gives them nothing in front. The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. Providence has got it in their own zone. Handles the puck. Takes the feed. Fantastic save! Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. Let's the wrister go. Oh, and he completely blew it on that miss. Yeah, you got to get it on the net, James. You've got an opportunity to score, and you don't even test the goalie. Nice pass. Steps in front of that one. On the doorstep, he scores! 80s hockey night here. Oh, I love the 80s. You score, I score, you score, I score, and you hope at the end of the night you get the bigger number. Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. Bridgeport's now made their way back to center ice for the faceoff. I see a lot of movement, a lot of talking on the bench right now. What's the message, Ray? Coaches are going up and down the bench, telling the players to stay on it. Don't back up. By number 25. Receives the pass. Canard of a shot. Stops him cold. Providence has got the puck along the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. Nice zone entry on the left side. Bridgeport's looking to break out of their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. From the slot. Big time stick save. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. Takes the pass. 
Gets the puck back here in the neutral zone. Takes the feed. And that's turned aside with a glove. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. Bridgeport's got the puck against the boards. Into the corner now. Pass right in front. It's in the back of the net. He scores! A couple goals in right around a minute and 50 seconds. That sure changes things here on the ice. Yeah, the game has completely been turned upside down. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Bridgeport's on a roll tonight. They extend the lead here in the second. Everything they do is better than the other team tonight. This is a domination performance. Scored by number 72. Schmaltz plays the puck. Assisted by number 50, Simon Holmstrom. And by number 27. Providence has got a hold of it against the wall. Ten minutes. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Off the left wing and into center. A chance on goal. Gets in front of it. Corot's goaltending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. With the stop. Corot's job is not just to stop the puck, but get it out of danger. He does that here. The Sound Tigers take it along the wing. Hammers the shot, and he says no! Corot's hands are quick. He uses his stick to make this save on the scoring chance. Well past the midway mark of this period, Bridgeport's been showing relentless pressure lately, now up by three. The Sound Tigers win it. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. And that one's turned away. Scooped up along the wall by Ladd. Denies him again. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. The Sound Tigers have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Rich is taking it from his own end. Moves inside! And a great save! I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Bridgeport's done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. Providence has got it, and they're on the attack. And that's a paddling from the goaltender. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. The Sound Tigers take possession in the defensive end. Looking for space inside the D zone. They go on the attack through center. Unleashes a cannon, and the lane's clogged up blocking that. Drives to the crease. Oh, a clutch save. Providence has got it into the offensive zone. Rister, close save, and the play continues. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Rips it. That goes wide. Not really close with that. He got lots on it, but nowhere near the net. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. We're going to back this up again and get another look at this stop the goalie makes. He makes a solid save on a really dangerous chance. More than half the frame has been played here. The Sound Tigers have been the better squad so far tonight. They lead it 5-2. There he is from the slot, and that's blocked. Providence is moving it along the wing. With possession along the wall. Looks to set up at the point now. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Fires one on goal. Oh, that just goes wide. Providence has got the puck along the boards. The Sound Tigers are in transition. To the paint. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Providence has got it along the wall. 
Through the offensive zone and behind the net now. Stopped by the goaltender. Scores! On the rebound, he pops it! Uh, goalie burps up this rebound here. It comes right back into the shooting area and the rebound is put away. Providence is still trailing in this one, but it's a little bit closer now. A little bit better, and now maybe you can find some energy because there's lots of room to claw back into this game. Scored by Bridgeport's got the puck along the wall. Can't find his man. Denies him in close. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Time of the goal. Here in the late going to the frame, the Bruins are down a pair. Steens won a big draw on their own end. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. Over the line they come. The Bruins have it in the offensive zone. There's the whistle from the linesman calling an offside. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. Providence has won the draw and they take possession here in the open ice. Along the half wall with the puck. Moves it to Steen. Oh, what a save in front. He scores! There's the hat trick and here come the hats. Man, it is loud in here. The guys jumped up on the bench as soon as that third goal went into the net. That's just a minute between goals. Buckle up, everybody. We're not done yet. The rebound snapped away. What a nice shot. But the goalie's got to do a better job cleaning up that rebound. You can't leave it right there. Providence has got one back late in the second. How does that change things now, Ray? From their bench, it seems like they're pretty excited. They jumped up. They're loud. They're ready to go as they try to find the equalizer. His third of the game. Hangs onto the puck. The Sound Tigers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Bridgeport's on the attack. Wrists one. Oh, that goes just wide. Looks like a little panic set in there, James. You've got to love those gifts. And, oh, he's going to be regretting that one. Keeps hold of the puck. And now he angles it across to Ajo. Shuts him down. Here's a short pass to Steen. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Providence is ready to go on the attack. He was locked in there. Bridgeport's looking to break out. Across the line. Here's a shot. He scores! Wow! Coast to coast! Snakes his way through the entire team. Head up, looks at his options, decides he's the best option, and finishes it off. He swept this one up over the goalie's glove. The room wasn't there until the goalie dropped into the butterfly, maybe a little early, opened up some space up top. Bridgeport's now got a two-goal lead. Is there a danger of being complacent now late in the period? It's not complacency. The danger is that you start to defend and you sit back and give them one chance that might make this a one-goal game. And the middle frame almost done. His reflexes on display tonight. I like the way that he stops his puck, James. Not only does he get in front of it, but he puts it out of harm's way. Let's it fly. Denied by the goaltender. Up, he flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. The centermen glide into position. Bridgeport's won the faceoff. The Bruins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Providence is in now. Makes a move in front. Wide. You can go games without a chance from here. Providence is on the attack. Coral's going to cover it up and get a whistle. 
even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Quick shot off the draw. Well, not exactly a banner night for the goaltenders as the second period comes to an end. At least they'll get a breather here. Fans, your donations have made it possible for kids in need to see their heroes fly from our tickets for Kids Luxury Box. Thank you for your generosity. The third period is just around the corner. Ray and I will bring you all the action in a moment. Time to drop the puck here in period number three. It's been quite the night of fireworks thus far. Let's see what this third period can do to keep up. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? The South Tigers lead, and they got to be hoping that their goalie gives them a save soon, because right now it might be last shot wins. Scoops up the puck here. Down the right side and into the zone. Hammers the shot, and he stands tall in goal. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Providence has gained possession along the boards. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. The Sound Tigers have it from their own end. Bridgeport's got it against the boards. Heads to the back of the net. Snaps it onto the net. Stopped by the goaltender. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Maintains possession. Oh, he's going to be shaking his head after that one. Yeah, you go back to the bench here, kicking yourself in the rear end. You've got a scoring chance, and you don't even get it on net. Cutting to the slot. Great read by the keeper to poke it away. Denies him in front with a kick save. The Sound Tigers are on the attack. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. Finds some space in the corner. Takes a shot. Great reflexes, another save. No time to take a breath. He made that first stop, and then the puck turns around on him again. Here's a chance, fires the wrist shot. Came up with the save on that play. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Along the right side into the offensive zone. 
Watherspoon's had the puck in his hands a great deal tonight. He's got a couple of points, and he's looking for more as he jumps back on the ice. Providence has got it across the line. Wrist one in front. Big save. This is a quality chance that the goaltender turns aside right from the slot. If you're going to make the save as the goalie does here, you've got to read the play and have the reflexes to execute the save. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. To the low slot! The Sound Tigers play it along the boards. Back to the blue line. Stopped by the goaltender. Providence has got a hold of it along the wall. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Bridgeport's got control of it now from their own end. Nice zone entry from the middle. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Into the offensive end now. Shot blown opportunity. Oh, he put it wide. You don't get many of these a night. And when it's your turn, you got to be ready to get it on the net. He misses here. Picks up the puck in his own end. The Bruins take it across the blue line. He scores! Unbelievable rain! Are we watching something historical tonight? It's not over yet. There seems like there's more chances in it for him. You can see he's looking on both sides of the traffic, trying to find the puck. When he finally catches up to it, he waves at it. A big move, but doesn't catch it. The Bruins are back at center ice, probably breathing a little easier now, Ray. They needed to get one, James. If you trail by two for too long, the clock just runs out on you. You run out of time. Scored by number nine. Puts it on net, and he misses. That's a good scoring opportunity. He doesn't capitalize on a great A chance. Quick pass to Ajo. Gains the zone from the right. Here's the shot. Just slide to the net. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. The Bruins move it in. Here's a chance. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. From point blank range. How do you miss that, Ray? I don't know, but we all do. You're right in the scoring zone, and you don't even test the goalie. Through center along the wing. Providence has got the puck. Gaining momentum along the wing. That pass doesn't go. Dishes it to Carpenter. Up along the wing. There's the whistle as the puck skips out of play. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Bridgeport's won it. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Takes a shot. Scores! Anything you can do, I can do better. Wow, that didn't take very long, did it? They give up the one goal, and they go right back down the ice and score. That's really impressive work. That's a really good shot. The goaltender's down in the butterfly. He thinks he's got mostly everything covered, but apparently not. The puck gets by him. Bridgeport's won the draw. Scored by number two. Sam Sends a pass over. Providence has got the puck now. Eight minutes, 28 seconds. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Here's an opportunity in front of the net. And he denied that opportunity. The Bruins gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Taken by Schmaltz. Gaining momentum along the boards. It, and that goes off a player. Quick feed to Hughes. 
And we'll get a stoppage on the ice as the puck goes out of play. Corrode's in great position here to make this stop. Nice work by the goaltender. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Nice zone entry from the left. Takes a wrist shot and that goes wide. Now he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance and he doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. The Sound Tigers gain control of the puck against the wall. Bridgeport's got it in their own zone. The Sound Tigers looking against the half wall. Providence is moving it into the offensive end. Sends the pass over and makes the save. Coral's got it, and he'll elect for the whistle. Jumped on it pretty quickly there, and like everything else tonight, he's really looked in control. He's had an excellent game. The Bruins still trail in this third period despite numerous scoring opportunities. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Takes the feed. Bridgeport's got the puck against the half wall. The Bruins look to start the transition game. Providence is across the blue line. Grabs the puck. Cuts into the paint. Oh, what a stop. There's another stop. Oh, he followed the puck really well there. A couple of good stops. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Providence is moving it up the ice. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Turns him away! Pushes it across to Fritz. Into the attacking end. The Bruins gain possession in their own end. Quick pass across to Richie. The Sound Tigers get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Manages to hang on. Here's a shot! And that one stopped. That's a pretty good scoring chance. That's a chance the shooter thinks might go in, but the goalie turns it aside. The setters will glide into the dot. Sarnik's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Made the stop on the play. Oh, you're not going to get a better chance than that, but the goalkeeper does a great job. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Moves it over to Carey. Across the line from center. Bridgeport's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Nice pass. Here's an offensive chance. Slides the puck over and tries to make a diagonal pass to Carey. Here's the shot. Comes up with the stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. The Sound Tigers take possession off the face-off. Takes the bank feed. Carries it across the line. Providence is looking to break out of their own end. Richie's lugging the puck. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Let's it fly! Get it on goal, man. Oh. That chance is not going to come along very often. Turns it away. Coral's going to slow things down and opts for the whistle. He's had a really good night. He's been on top of his game, and there's not been much that's given him trouble. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. The Bruins win the draw. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Grabs it in his own end. 
Nice zone entry from the right side. Musa quickly over to Bellows, and he comes up with it. Providence has got the puck in the defensive end. The Bruins played along the boards. Fires one. Stones up with the blocker. Coral's under fire, and he's going to hang on for the whistle. Sometimes you freeze it to give your teammates a breather. Sometimes you freeze it so you get yourself one. He's been really busy tonight, but he's been exceptionally sharp. A critical draw here. Bridgeport's won the draw. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Stays with it. Providence has got the puck in their own end. Grabs it in his own end. Takes a shot. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Into the offensive zone. The Bruins take possession in the defensive end. Puck grabbed by Hutton. Moves it to Sarnik. Gains the zone through center. On the attack along the boards. The Sound Tigers go to work on offense. Denies him in front. Sends it ahead to Richie. Moves the puck. Carey's got it along the wing. And that skips the... Scores! The captain delivers! Really tough for the goalie to read where the heck this thing's going. I'm looking at the shot. I can't tell where it's going, but the backhander beats the goaltender. Providence has come back with a big one here in the third. Grind away, dig away. Now you got a chance. Only trailing by one goal. The Sound Tigers get a hold of the puck off the draw. Scored by number 28. Ajo's got it in the offensive zone. Here he is on the backhand. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. Smothered that in close chance. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Situation critical as we approach the final minute of the third. Moves One around minute. along the half wall. Here's a shot. Blocker save. Coral's got the puck, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things, and he's had an excellent night so far. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Bridgeport's got a hold of the puck. Wotherspoon's got it in the defensive zone. Bridgeport's got a hold of the puck. Fritz plays it along the wall. Here's a chance with the stop. Providence has got it in their own zone. Steps inside. Providence is trailing. That's why they've got the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. Doesn't go. Providence has regained possession of the puck. Through center. From center, they get into the attacking area. The Sound Tigers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Here's a shot. Big time stop there. Bridgeport's got the puck at center. Fires to the empty net. And a buzzer beater save to close things out in this one. And that's all she wrote from this one here tonight. Well, they get the win and really controlled many of the small areas of the game. They were good in the face-off. Their center ice position is such a strength for them. And that'll do it. For Ray Perraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thank you.